This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by Freshly. Chef cooked healthy meals delivered to your door. Save $20 off the six meal plan for first time users with code GWN639. Liquid Web. Save 33% off VPS hosting with code VPS33 off. Butcher Box. Get grass fed meats delivered to your house. Get $10 off with code MMA Nuts. Tech for Less. Get huge discounts on the world's top brands. Save 5% off with code MMA Nuts at techforless.com. The Fence Soap. Used by more champions in more countries than any other brand. Save 15% off with code MMA Nuts. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts episode 339. 339er! My name's Ingo Weigel. Matt Griffith, MMA Show, by my fans, for my fans, we're Rock Live, Tween Serious, and Ridiculous. Mm-hmm, What's mm-hmm. going on? You fired up? Watch a little Bellator 179? You're it's so intense, you're about to shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had someone I know shit their pants today, uh, yesterday. Good. Walking in the park. M- male or female? Male. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> the fact that, yeah, well, the fact <laughs> that he admitted to it was pretty funny, but yeah. Uh, he, 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 apparently he had some bad lunch and hey. just couldn't make it to the bathroom. I know what that's about. He was out in the, in the, in the forest preserve and just, it, it was, <laughs> it was go time apparently. <laughs> so, so. Hey, sometimes these things happen. They're, yeah. They're pantalones negros. Uh, exactly. But Bellator. Yes. Let's talk Bellator. Um, I don't know, man. Corey McDonald making his Bellator debut at 170 pounds versus Paul Daly. Mm-hmm. Takes a man down. Takes a man down. But first off, how about that Rory McDonald body type? Looking sharp, Matt. Very nice and uh, skinny, lean. Yeah, super lean, right? In the face, especially. Six packed up. Oh, yeah. A little back knee going on again? Uh, yeah, I'm wondering about back that. Back in the game? Mm. <laughs> Don't know. He got back a little lean Didn't take a lot of damage to the face, which He's is good. About zero, because he did about 15 seconds of stand-up and right to the takedown. Yeah. About two for two for the takedown. I would do that, too. He's a pretty crafty grappler, and I don't think he uses it as much as he should. Mm-hmm. He likes to brawl, uh, which is yeah. not good when your face has been caved in no, multiple he, times. Took t- I'm kind of impressed. I don't know about you, but taking that amount of time off yeah. and coming back and didn't look like you missed a step. Well, there's been a lot of people recently who've said ring rust is bullshit. So I wonder if that's true. I, I, you know, Maybe. Depending on how you train. Yeah, yeah I think it depends yeah. how you train. Like, and I mm-hmm. think the guys at TriStar are probably pretty smart about their training. Mm-hmm. And when you think about who he's training with, oh, is he training with GSP? Probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're high level. Uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting, well, he's obviously... He's supposed uh, Rory's supposed to fight the winner of uh, the fuck was it Larkin and Lima? Yes, they're fighting for the title mm-hmm. in right. Madison Square Garden. Come up here shorter shortly, so Rory's gonna get winner of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you think about Rory's sponsor situation? Did you notice he came out? He just had the Everlast shorts on, and only the Monster Energy drink, and he said. That his strategy was to go after the bigger sponsors and not like whore his shorts out. Like he's like, Yeah, I could have made more money if I just hoard my shorts out. I'm just going after the the long term bigger plays. I think Benson Henderson was trying to do that, but he wasn't super successful. Yeah, you know, it's a definitely a strategy. I don't know what he's getting paid, if they will release that or not. I don't know. I I wanna say it was less than his Reebok money, but you'd gotta think if he's a fight away from the title and mm-hmm. more than likely would win the title. Yeah. He probably has some bonuses built in, I would guess, right, in that Maybe. whole equation. Um, it's certainly a strategy. You know, why not? Why not give it a try? What, what do you got to lose? Everlast got big money, you know? Monster. 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 Yeah. He's got big money, too. He's wearing the monster shirt and monster uh, hat after yeah. the fight. Oh, yeah. So he maybe was happy after the fight, too. Seems- First time... I think this guy has shown emotion in 16 years. I Making don't know. That <laughs> Bellator, that paid, made. Yeah, Bellator pays him well, too. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how it work plays out if he continues to do that or if, you know, one of his sponsors. Some some guys have, you know, if you could have exclusive sponsorship, if the sponsor's big enough, why not? Take the money. Yeah, that, there's a good story. You know, you were talking about sponsors, and I forgot. Shane Carwin was on Reddit, and he had made a post and saying something to the effect of when he fought Brock Lesnar... Mm-hmm. I forgot what the exact amount was, but he said he made something like one point five to two million dollars just on that fight alone. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Because whatever his payments were, he got a one point two five million dollar bonus check from Lorenzo and Dana. 
What? Yeah. Why? Because I think he was on a 50 and 50, like 50 to show, 50 to win. Just because that fucking pay-per-view, remember, it was a huge one. Did it like over, I don't know if that one was over a million. But... That was, was that 100? Well, no, it was the 116, but I think it was a pretty solid, probably, uh, pay-per-view buy, right? Because yeah. you got Brock Lesnar, and he was always drawn huge. Oh, yeah. But then he also laid out all his sponsor money, and he was just getting, like, I, I got three boats. <laughs> like, boats. What are you doing with boats? <laughs> Sold them all, and then just mad money from sponsors, and people were paying him monthly. And he was saying that it really comes down to your management. Like, all these guys you, right now could even be getting good deals from outside of the ring sponsors yeah. if they had good management. And that's okay. why he decided to go into a management role now. So he's doing sports management. Taking his cut. Yeah, because he knows the game, mm -hmm. allegedly. Smart guy. I can see that happening. So Not uh, that personable, it seems, but maybe behind closed he, doors. I, is, do you think he is the least personable out of all the fighters at any time they give an interview? He might be. <coughs> I wonder if he's like this in meetings. He just sits there and just... That's, blah, a, blah, blah, that's a little threatening. Blah, 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 blah. He's threatening. He's I too big like that. to be in a meeting. I don't like that deal. <laughs> give me something better. With all the steroids he's allegedly on, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat you if you don't give me something better. <laughs> <laughs> Start with the th fingers and then work my way up. He, he has the biggest hands in the UFC. The he's, guy's frightening. Even bigger than Brock. Yeah, it's crazy. I, mean, I don't remember four XL something ridiculous. Yeah. Giant. Yeah. Scary. What else we got? Uh, UFC retreat. They just hauled in all the fighters and go. Mm -hmm. Everyone came to Vegas. First time we get to meet with the big time management, and uh, apparently we had three strikes at this event. And oh, first strike! They have an Anheuser Busch rep who's there and preaching to the fighters. Apparently, he's wasted out of his mind. <laughs> it's ten thirty a.m. Why? Why is he? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's asking for video. No it's, videos. It's been Vegas, posted. though. Maybe that's why. He lost track know. of the time. It was, I guess, real ridiculous. Maybe he's from Sweden. And it's really 10 p.m. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he's in the wrong time zone. <laughs> yeah. And it's all clear. He forgot. Okay. <laughs> that's strike one. Uh, then some other fighter, I forget his name, uh, starts stands up and starts just fucking going off about the Reebok deal. Okay. It's like, what is this Reebok deal? I'm losing all this money and blah, blah, blah. To the point where they said it got so awkward that they escorted him out of the fucking arena. Whoa. That's strike two. Strike three is my favorite one. So I guess, remember, <coughs> excuse me, Angela McGanna had posted all those crazy tweets about Chris Cyborg. Oh, yes. With the face and yep. the mask and all this shit. And Chris was like, hey, you want to come down and spar me? Let me know. Well, apparently, Chris uh, ran into Angela. Uh-oh. And was none too happy, and a little altercation happened. Today? Yeah, and oh, then Chris fucking socked her in the face. Nice. And they said she rocked her and then busted up her lip, so. Okay, is there going to be fines involved? I would imagine so. And I think Beck Rawlings says she has video of the incident, which is a little weird because it almost sounds like if she has a video, was the other girl provoking Cyborg to get the response necessary? So I would imagine video of that is going to come out, but. Are you okay with this? Yes, I like so it. Okay I like it. <laughs> it's like Diaz. Uh, was it Ch Shamrock? Diaz uh, Lawler? Who who had the brawl? Diaz. Uh, they had the brawl. Diaz. In everybody. <laughs> in in the hospital. Ma'am Miller. Diaz Riggs in the hospital. Riggs. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I I love it too because if you you're gonna talk some shit and you gotta be prepared to back that up and the cyborgs yeah. ready to back it up. Well, everybody's a big warrior behind the keyboard, right? Of course. Right? <laughs> and especially when you're not in the right weight class. You no. shouldn't be popping off with someone that's bigger. And sometimes you need to get put back in line. Yep. Smack that hole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you brought that on yourself. I wonder if, what if she pimp slapped her. That'd be, Ooh, that'd be I, I want video of this. I want to see how hard she bare knuckle fisted this chick. Nah. That sounded really bad. You could interpret that in a lot of different ways. Whatever. I'm thinking, Matt. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Yeah. I'd watch. <laughs> I'd watch. Probably would. Who's the man to be denied? Do you have any news or are you? Uh, well, uh, well, I'm. I have the. Um, I'm, I'm still keen on this McGregor Mayweather thing. Okay. And they, they. I know last week we said yeah. that they were gonna maybe do it, but it's official. McGregor decides done, yes. done. Dana said he's working on Mayweather. It sounds better than it did a week or two ago. Right. So, do you think this fight actually? Does it happen? What do you think? Are you, are you feeling it? It's Come so on, hard. Everyone's saying this was the easy part. 
you know, to get the McGregor side done. Really? But now you got to negotiate with Mayweather, hmm. who, remember when he was trying to fight Pacquiao? They, I don't remember how many years that went on, because oh, it was all almost the, like... I, IV stuff and all these drug tests and, and back and Almost forth. like letting Pacquiao try to age a little bit more, so yeah. he, he's not as good of a fighter as when he it works. steps into me. I don't think he has to fear this with Connor, though. I don't think you have to play the game. I yeah. think this is a squash match for Mayweather, so... Maybe he's a little bit afraid of him. Why? Because he got fucking horseshoe he's up his no ass. He's got no boxing. He has a horseshoe up his ass, though. He could, <coughs> the guy is crazy. He, he'll probably knock Mayweather out <laughs> in the if first could, round. If he could touch him, I don't think, I think he touches him. You don't him think so? He thinks too fast for him? Yes. Maybe. And if for a guy that's been boxing his whole life versus MMA, like we were talking before, yeah. there's too much thinking going to go on in McGregor's head of he's not going to be able to flow. He's going to be thinking the whole fight. Like, I can only use hands. Only use hands. And that, for his game, completely off. I thought he was going to be shooting takedowns, but <laughs> I can't be throwing kicks. I can't throw elbows. I can't be as creative as I normally am. Yeah. So. Uh, if I'm Mayweather, I'm, I just sign it. it. I mean, it just comes down to what is he going to accept? What's a fair Half a billion cut? dollars. <laughs> is, 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 <laughs> do you think that. it's like 50-50? Do you think Mayweather is going to let a 50-50 no. fight? Yeah. He probably 70-30, I would guess. It, it, gonna ask 20, for it. maybe. That, oh, wow. I don't know if it'll be that egregious. Well, think. What did uh, Pacquiao get? Was it $300 million to $150 million? So he got like twice? Yeah. Man. Was it 75-25? I don't know. It, it ain't going to go 50-50. I could see 60-40. Yeah. But I, I just don't think Mayweather lets it go that high. Don't think so? Hmm. That, I think that's where the stumble block is, right? The money. The money is the problem. Yes. He, Mayweather is greedy as hell. This guy who's burning $100 bills on... You remember that? Yeah. But isn't this <laughs> going to be the biggest pay-per-view ever? I and think they can so. pretty much charge whatever they want. It's going to be a fucking... $200! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but 100 <laughs> for sure. And 99. the biggest pay-per-view buy in history. Yeah. 10, 10 million. million. Easy. Oh, it's... And 100 And plus the tickets. Oh, fuck. Who's sit ringside at McGregor versus Mayweather? $50,000 probably, if not more than that. Merchandising and all the craziness that goes in there. There was another question I had. I was going to save it for later, but I'm going to ask it now. So say this fight happens. What sponsors are on McGregor's shorts if they do McGregor versus Mayweather? Oh, did he get Reebok? That's why I'm I'm wondering. Hmm. Reebok? Is he going to show up in the Reebok gear? Is it going to be a UFC logo? It might have to be. I think a UFC logo has to they be. They have there. to put a UFC logo. I'm sure that'll be in the contract, but I would say UFC and Reebok. Ooh. Those two combos? Ooh. Yeah. I want to see that. Think. And then what, how much do you think that space is worth to put a logo on his shorts for going to be the biggest mm. fight in combat sports history? What's the worth? Is it a million? Probably. A million the logo? Yeah. I, he should fucking NASCAR that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, this leg. Five million. Yeah. This leg, seven and million. He's going to wear like... Uh, I don't even shorts. know what those things are those called. Crazy, yeah. Like past your yeah, yeah. That's the boxing chicks style. Thing. Uh -huh. Chick shorts, whatever those things Yoga are. Yoga pants? Maybe. Capris? Yeah. It's like a little longer than a short, but not quite pants. Uh-huh. I think he's in. I'm into the fashion, man. Good for you. <laughs> you want to talk about fashion? I was going to save that, but Go ahead. I can bounce over. So apparently, Reebok's coming out with this new style of clothing. Oh, uh, the Capris? It's it, no. It's called <laughs> it. a re-romp, and here's how it's described. It's built for Bros, the re-romp will keep you cool in more ways than one. Made with active chill technology and a reflective zipper. This romper combines the benefits of an active life and effortless style. Embrace the season's coolest new trend, perfectly paired with classic leathers. Here's a picture of this fucking monstrosity. Oh my gosh, what is So it's it? like a, a shirt and shorts, like a onesie is what it looks like. Why Maybe a hoodie. Why do I wear this? I'm wondering, is this new UFC like fight kit? Is this what we're gonna see the fighters might, coming might out? It? Is, it, is Conor McGregor gonna wear this to the Mayweather fight? How do you take it off? I don't know. Is I it don't know. All the way down. I don't know how this works, but uh, what? Is this a joke? A, yeah. a late April Fool's fucking thing? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, Move right along. 
Can you talk about the big news, please? California State one? Yes, I'm going to get to that. California State Athletic Commission just passed some new weight cutting regulations, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll lay them out, and then we'll kind of discuss it. So the big takeaway is we're doing licensing by weight class. So fighters to select the lowest weight class they'd like to compete in, uh, followed up with questioning relating to dehydration by the commission. A physician must certify that the fighter can safely compete at the selected weight class. That's one. Two, fines for missing weight. 20% fine for fighter missing weight equal half to the commission and opponent. Further, 20% fine if the fighter who missed weight wins any bonus, the amount of which goes fully to the opponent. So up to 40%? 20% for the fighter missing weight, and a further 20%. If the fighter who missed weight wins any bonus, but typically the UFC doesn't give out a bonus if you miss the weight, even if it's like crazy. I don't know if that if that means you're like say you win the fight the win bonus. They, the fighters that miss weight don't get that extra like performance oh. of the night or a fight of the night bonus. Okay. So three additional weight classes: one sixty five, one seventy five, one ninety five, two twenty five. Uh, new weight classes, so that each individual fighter has more options to select a weight class closest to their walk-around weight. Okay. And it depends on the promoter whether or not they're going to add the weight classes. So, as I think uh, it was Andy Foster who was putting this together. He's the head of the California State Athletic Commission. Didn't want to get rid of 170. So, he's saying it's kind of open whether or not the promoter wants to enable yeah. these or not. And then four, there's weight class restri restrictions for missed weight. So, fighters who fail to make weight... On more than one occasion, will be recommended to move up a division until a physician can certify that they're able to compete at the lower weight class. Wow. And the commission will have the final say. No kidding. So that, that's huge. That's a big one, yeah. And then they're going to do these secondary weight checks. So a further weighing of the fighters on fight day to ensure fighters have not put on more than 10% of their weight back on. Fighters who put on or put back on too much weight will be recommended to fight at a higher weight class for future bouts. And seeing how Cormier just weighed fucking 234, he's right in there. He put <laughs> Every on missed weight. 35 pounds yeah, real quick. Something 30, like that. Three. And then the, the last thing, weight tracking. So they're going to weight check you 30 days out and then 10 days before a fight to record fighter progress. So we've got all that going on. Mm -hmm. The first event this is going to happen at is UFC 214. John Jones versus Daniel Cormier and go. Mm -hmm. What are the ramifications? I think that, fight, fight? that fight will have a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, Cormier will probably miss weight and get loses 20%. John Jones might get popped for some performance-enhancing drugs, but he also could potentially miss weight and or be recommended to move up in a weight class because there's that criteria about, you the know. 10%, <laughs> right? I, yeah. Both of them. Yeah, they're, both, guilty. they're both definitely guilty of that. It, the funny thing is this all ties into my, my grand scheme of I think Cormier misses weight, and the, here's the perfect opportunity to. Mm -hmm. He weighs in the 10% over, recommended to move up to heavyweight, fights Stipe Miocic for the heavyweight title. Stipe loses, only defends the title twice. And Cormier becomes a two-title champion. Yes. Heavyweight. Well, he's going to lose to John Jones. Oh, he's going to lose first. But. Okay. Oh, fuck. What if they both have to move up then? Then they got to fight at heavyweight. <laughs> There you go. Shit. I love this. I love these new things and go. I would uh, like to see them fight at heavyweight. I would like to see both of them at heavyweight. I think Cormier is hurting himself. He's doing a disservice to himself right now and fighting at 205. Plus, think about it. You could eat fried chicken. You love fried pop Popeyes? Popeyes. Yes. Yeah. He wouldn't have to start Food's not life. racist. No, it's not. It, why do you keep saying that? Because I love to <laughs> say that every time. Because people are like, fuck you. You can't say it's not the a black guy thing. likes fried chicken. Like, yeah, he can. Because he, he I like fried chicken. Popeye's fried chicken. You're fried racist. <laughs> I'm racist against chickens. You right? are. I want them dead and fried oh, and in yeah. my I mouth. I eat so okay? much chicken. I want them to melt in my mouth. You like, might even rape them. I like breasts in my mouth, Matt. Mm. Lots of breasts. Just, ah. You um, know what that's about. What? Chicken. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh. I have no idea. What were you saying? It's moving up in weight class, yeah. fried chicken. The Cormier wouldn't have to starve himself. We've seen him be dominant. He won the fucking strike force. And John looks a little more sluggish at heavyweight, though, so he has a better chance, I think. Maybe. Anthony Rumble Johnson will come back at heavyweight. Yeah. <laughs> when he's had enough of this pot business. <laughs> like, man, this is kind of boring. I want to get back in the game. I don't think he's going to have enough of it. He's going to be getting stoned all the time. Maybe. 
But th this will be fun to see. I can't. This is one of those things where, like, oh, what's gonna happen? It only only good's gonna come from this. Yeah. Because we, we're addressing the biggest problem in MMA, which is the weight cutting, mm -hmm. supreme, severe, Insane. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Extreme. Mm -hmm. So all good things, man. Get your popcorn out. Get ready. I got to cough again. I'm sorry. <coughs> Don't ever cough, man. Battling the illness over here, and it's the beer to, is not helping. It's got the, to have... the smooth. I gotta take a drink. Mm -hmm. It's just like choking me on the way down. Is it the liquid? Yep. It's actually making it worse. I want to cough more. It's all right. Mm. What did you think about this Mighty Mouse interview the other day, where he was talking about Ronda Rousey, and he said, "You got your ass beat. Grow the fuck up. Uh, it's mixed martial arts. I don't want to be like that." If I lose, I'll be like, I lost. Easy to say when you're not losing. <laughs> but uh, do you like a man showing a little more personality from Johnny fighting a weight class I don't give a fuck about? Uh, I do, but I wish you wouldn't be picking on the woman. And hitting a person when they're down? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah like, it's, it's like a whole, like, you know, I mean, sure. I don't know. Plus, Ronda Rousey could probably have you for breakfast. He weighs like 120 pounds. I, I'd watch that fight. Yeah, dude, that'd be interesting. I wonder if... I wonder if hmm. Hmm. They should do it naked. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh -huh. oh, that would oh, just oh. spell trouble, though. Oh, oiled up. See what happens. See if she can get a grip on that little, fa that little fast <laughs> fucker. Too that guy's too fast. He, yeah. You cannot grab him. They'd be, but then they'd be so slippery and they'd be like slaps <laughs> falling because they're fucking mad all greased up. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. They need <laughs> socks on. Give them at least socks. Oh, yeah. Oiled up with socks. That's yeah. going to help. All right. Black fine. socks. Black socks. With Not racist. It's always with the racist. <laughs> Black socks, white <laughs> socks, purple socks, orange socks. I don't know. I just. I think it's good that the man's showing a little more heat, a little more fire. Doesn't mm. mean I'm going to um, care about his fucking fight, but... No. You know, a lot of people got angry. I'm going to mention this. When I talk about Joanna and Jacek and how boring her style was. They did. Oh, um, it's okay to like people or not like people. It Everyone's is. got their own preference. Right? Uh, I don't like a lot of people fight style. When someone's supremely dominant, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Except I got Jamie to the Meyer. point with Ronda Rousey when she was super dominant. I said, I need some parody. I want a little back and forth. And you got it, yeah. You know? When it's... someone's winning in 13 seconds, I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Yeah. I mean... Plus, I'm not a fan of the lighter weight classes. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you guys like them. I don't. Yeah. I'm not going to change. And I'm going to say it. So, if you don't like it, eh. Tough titties. Tough titties, little brown <laughs> kitty. There you go. Uh, I'll just keep running around here. Let's see. We talked about weight class. Mm -hmm. Talk totally. about Mighty Mouse. Let's mm -hmm. talk about Tyron Woodley. Oh, yes. So this, this week, so we're getting to see a little, another side of Tyron Woodley. I'll post some videos. You see him training with a backpack with 100 pounds on him. Mm -hmm. I think Brian Stan backpacked him during the UFC Tonight Show just to show him what it was like. So he jumped on his back during the broadcast. Then gave him the backpack, said, you better start wearing this. And then you saw uh, him and Damian Maya hanging out at the, Being goofy. the UFC summit. Seems odd that they Jumping on his that. back, and they're goofing around. Damian's scoping out. Did you notice how much taller Damian was? Than yeah. Him? Holy shit. He looked, he looked like a different weight class. Yeah. Mm, but Tyrone is a big dude, too. It's yeah. just he's short. Interesting. Almost seemed like... Uh, I wish this is a Tyron we'd get all the time, kind of like he's yeah. being more personable and not so money, money. Well, I wonder if maybe under the camera and the interviews and all that, he kind of, you know, he seizes up and becomes all business, like you know. Yeah. But now he's in his in his element. He's more relaxed. Could be something along those lines, or he just gets nervous and and, and wants wants things the way he wants them financially, and that you know I don't know, but. I like to see the fighter's personality. I always thought he didn't have any personality until this week. Yeah. Week. You know, or his well, personality. Well, he's still talking about, I don't know who I'm going to fight next because I, I would fight GSP. Yep. I'd fight Nick Diaz. I know Damien deserves it, but. Yeah. I, I, 
I'm at this point, like, that side pisses me off. Yeah. I feel like we got to get back to the rankings mm -hmm. to some extent. And if you're a champion, you should not be able to dictate who the hell you're fighting. No. Number Fight one contender. Guy. That's who you're fighting. Boom. Unless we're doing a champion versus champion mm -hmm. thing. Like Connor fighting or stepping up to fight Eddie Alvarez to take two bouts. Like, that's a super fight. And even the Nate Diaz, that was just a, a fight on short notice if we go back and think about it. Mm -hmm. and then he lost and he wanted to get another one back. So mm -hmm. it's not like Connor's doing all this crazy shit. He was doing a short notice fight, lost it, wanted to get one back, had the title still at 145, whatever. <laughs> and it goes up to 155. It's that one, loses 45. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna lose at 55. I don't know if I can know. Don't say that, Matt. But Keep it. I just, I, I'm sick of all these champions and it's like uh, Michael Bisbing and GSP. Enough of this shit. Go back to just fight the next guy in line. What are we doing there? Is Joel Romero supposed to fight him now? And then Bisbing said he's injured. Yeah, maybe like a six month kind of thing yeah. from what I read. So now they're talking about that interim title that they wouldn't do yeah. for. Anderson Silva versus Joel Romero. Now it's talking about Joel Romero versus Robert Whitaker for an intro. Romero's going to be like 50 by the time he gets his title shot. <laughs> <laughs> and Damien, he'll be in the grave. Give me the title I'm shot. Just, <laughs> are we still under the assessment that Maya's not getting his title He's shot? not getting it. Universe will not align for him to get his shot. Even, even, even if he gets the shot, that fight won't happen. There's something's going to happen. Well, if, if we're going to play this game, then fucking interim title it. Okay. For Damien. Damien versus whoever for an interim. He will if, not be if, satisfied with the interim belt. I know, but then uh, this is the point that I've been hearing is if at least if you do the interim title, that guarantees you're fighting for the title next because you have to solidify the two belts. Does it? Yes. Hmm. Max okay. Holloway, Jose Aldo. That's the next fight that's happening. Max has the interim. And he's fighting Jose now. But it's UFC and they can fuck around any way they want. Of course, but they, they have to get back to some form of legitimacy and, <laughs> as I say, give an interim belt out <laughs> because how else could... Well, it's really just to guarantee the guy you want to get the title shot to get the title shot and we shouldn't have to go to interim belt, but they're being so goofy with this shit. That's the only way it seems you can lock up the title shot because a man's word isn't a man's word anymore. You're getting worked up. I like it. Preach on. Let's Dana go. White, give what the me, fuck? Give me. the man its title shot. He All said. Right. I'm buckling in. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said it, right? He just told him. Yeah. He won. You just beat Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. Split decision, wasn't it? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Got Man got the win. Backpack them. Backpack. Mm -hmm. You can win by holding a man down. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with that. Yeah. Well, you like it when it's Damian Maya, but you didn't like it when it was John Fitch. <laughs> it's, well, it's because it's a friend of a friend. That's the problem. Ah. We're a little biased towards Maya. Yes, yeah, a little bit. Okay. So, man, she gets title shot. I don't know what else to say. Get back to legitimacy. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're as you lose legitimacy, you lose some of the viewers, and uh, yeah. there's that trust level of you guys are supposed to be the the premier league, the NFL, the NBA. You're one of the professional mm -hmm. sports leagues. You can't be doing this non-title bullshit. You can't have your champions be calling out. Guys that shouldn't be getting title shots. No. Well, Woodley has way too much say in all this. It seems <sighs> shouldn't have this much say. I, I, you know, what happened to the days of this is who you fight, sign the contract. And, and right, and I, I mean, maybe there's a difference if you've defended the title ten times. Yeah. Like you barely defended it twice, right? <laughs> it, like a draw and a loss. Like not like you're out there knocking fools out in 13 seconds since you've gotten the title. Yeah. You know. We'll see. We will. Mm -hmm. Move right along. What else we got? I got nothing else. I'm going to flip back through. I think we might be at Ask the Nuts. Add one other thing. No, I'm missing. Darren Rovell of ESPN tweeted out. He was talking about uh, the NBA. There was an interesting point. He was saying uh, Cavaliers jersey deal with Goodyear. He said it's in the $10 million a year range. Whoa. And the Warriors are expected to get 15 to 75, 17 million a year for a logo on their jersey. Okay. And their logos are so tiny. I don't even remember how big. It might be a three by three inch it's logo. Pretty small, yeah. It, it kind of blends in. You can't notice. It's not like the Reebok thing. Yeah. And I forget what was the Reebok. Was it 
five years and seventy million dollars, something like that. It was five years. Yeah, it sounds maybe fifty million. I don't, was it I, as high as seventy? I don't remember. So I mean, it's almost kind of in line with what the UFC is getting. But I feel UFC like the exposure for Reebok is so retarded. It's not just one team with their own yeah. sales. It's it just everybody. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And someone said that if the UFC continues to pay out. I think it's if they go along the lines of where they're where they're already at with Reebok, they're only going to pay out about fifty percent of the Reebok money. Yeah. And remember when the deal came out, hundred percent of the proceeds going to fires. Hundred percent. That's it. Everybody's got their hand in the pockets. Got to go upstairs first. Administration now. costs and go. They went up ever since Reebok came on board. Yeah. More things to manage. And what? And if you're the new owner, wouldn't you want to get some more in there? Wouldn't you want a little Monster Energy? Wasn't that the deal? Wasn't that how they sold it to the fighters? Hey, we're going to have to start with Reebok, but then we're going to get more people in. And you guys are going to get a bigger cut. But we all continue for the last 10 years to buy this line of bullshit they give us, and then it just becomes something else. Dana said, there's no fight. This is not happening. And then it happens. Dana says, this is happening, but not that is happening. And then the other thing happens. And mm -hmm. they keep lying. They lie. They're liars. Yeah. Why do they keep lying? Well, how can they get away with that? Is, isn't there some legal no. recourse? The man says, uh, hey, we just got this Reebok deal. 100% of the money is going to go to the fighters. Because he can say that, but that's not what it says. Not and as you book. know from yeah. talking to several UFC fighters behind closed doors about the contracts, it's pretty much, you don't like it, fuck off, sign it, or fight. And these are, <laughs> these are our rules. Agree. Or have a nice day, sir. And... We can cut you at any time. And That's right. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. You can, yeah. It's a 15-fight contract, but we can cut you any time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your next fight, you're going to make $2 million to the show and yeah. $2 million to win. Cut. Thanks for playing. Yeah. So it's um, mm. not surprising. We'll see what happens. Let's do some answer that. Please. Move right along. Ah, let's go. Which fighter would be the most successful... Without their corner during a fight. Without their corner? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just think about some of the quality corners that you've had out there. I think John Jones would be all right. I think. Yeah, you got to think about who are the fighters that really need their corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a couple ways to look at it. When I think about who needs their corner, mm -hmm. like a Cowboy Cerrone comes to oh, mind. Oh, he needs his corner. GSP needs his corner. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying those guys are mentally weak. Mark Hunt would be just fine. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. For sure. And Well, he's a first rounder, too. Like, uh -huh. whatever. How about a Matt Hamill? He doesn't need his corner. Yeah. Because <laughs> he can't hear he his He can't corner. hear him, but that's neither here nor there. The only man to defeat John Jones. Yep. Oh, what? Sandblasted prostitutes! Sandblasted prostitutes. Yeah. That's what Cormier was saying to John Jones at the press conference. Oh. Remember they're arguing back? <laughs> that's like, right. I don't know. You're going to be all coked up and... Sandblasted prostitutes. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about, sandblasted prostitutes? What does that mean? Oh, thank you. I, I, I'm, I see if I can recollect. He said uh, <laughs> it came from Luke Rockhold. Uh -huh. He thanks his boy. Uh, I guess it's uh, you dump it out a bunch of coke all over your hookah, your prostitute. And then you go, <laughs> you blow it all over like because you sandblasting her. The coke. Yes. Yeah, so that that sounds expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you're balling. You got so much money, it doesn't even matter. Right? Uh-huh. I don't know how much coke costs, but it can't be cheap. <laughs> it can't be cheap. Wait, I don't like... even know if that would be fun. Would it be fun? I don't want to waste all my drugs. If you're really rich and you didn't give a fuck, maybe. Sam you're super man. balling, then. Okay. Different level. We'll get there. True. Or not. Yeah. Uh, who else would not? Who would, <laughs> we're all over. Who else would benefit with other corner? Maybe Honda Housey. Well, I, I don't her, feel like her, her corner especially. helped yeah. or hurt. No. Uh, mm -mm. Feel like it hurt. Senior Christensen on Twitter asks, uh, "Can you each rank your top three least favorite fighters of all time?" Ooh. And then we'll hit our our favorite because I want to do the flip side of that coin. Least but favorite fighter. Least of all favorite. Time. I'll go first because it's yeah. easy for me. Donna yeah. Cruz, <laughs> Mighty Mouse. Uh huh. I might go old school to John Fitch. 
Because mm. remember back in the day, that guy would kill us. Yes, he would. Would you call him the sleeping pill? Yeah. <laughs> or the snuggly blanket? Yeah, the sleeping <laughs> pill. One or the other. I yeah. He was the sleeping pill. Le least favorite fighters. I got to go with... Uh, mm, Mighty Mouse is definitely on my list. Uh, unfortunately. Sorry, Mighty Mouse. But he's a powerful pound. Yeah. No, he's, he's not one of my favorites. I, I also do not like... Um, and I have to say, I'm not a John Jones fan. Don't like him. I know he's good, but I don't like him. Fair enough. And then my number one would have to be... What's your third that you named? Bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Cruz. It's really old school. Like, Cruz is number one. And then it's Mighty Mouse. And then I had to go old school for Bitch. Yeah. Um, golly, that is a good question. Probably going to have to go with... Agreement on Dominic Cruz. Okay. Yeah. So we agree on two. Dominic yeah. Cruz is and the Mighty Mouse are similar. Who else is it's it's movement. It's too much movement. Yeah. Now he's a turkey. Say, I'm it. too fucking stupid. Uh I can't keep up. They're too fast. Mm -hmm. I, I don't need my guys running around the whole fight. Nope. Like lit you can be tactful or yeah. But not tacky. Right. You can't be run aroundy. Run aroundy. Yeah. That's all. Uh, what do you think? What about your top three favorite fighters of all time? Oh, that's easy. BJ Ben, Chuck Liddell, and I'm going to have to go with Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. He, I was debating to put him on my list. Yes. I, and for me, obviously, number one is Rich Franklin. Of course. Always uh, a favorite. Still argue one of the best five round fighters out there. Probably. Except against Anderson Silva. But... Well, against any Southpaw. He had trouble with sound pause. Uh, number two would probably be a Chris Lytle. That guy Ooh. never put on a boring fight. Good point. Always entertaining. Lights out. And I Lights think number three, that was a toss-up because I was thinking about Brock Lesnar, but we'll throw a little Mark Hunt in, even though oh. of, of late he's getting a little crazy with all the lawsuits. and damage uh, to the head. I, I'm just such a big fan of the one-punch walk-off KO. Yeah. Like, who does that? And then you see other people try to do it and not being successful. Yeah. Mark Hunt does that. Yeah. And it's uh, a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. Al Miner asks, Anderson Silva threatened to retire and almost got no response. Is it because most fans think he should call it a career? Yeah. It's weird how quickly he's become somewhat irrelevant, you know, over the last couple of years. Yeah. Well, I, I wonder if that Weidman, it seemed like once that happened, the chink in his armor was established. Especially the first loss, and then <laughs> the tried. second one. Yeah, that's right. And people fluke, not nah, doesn't matter. He lost two. The dick pills and all that too. Yeah, that help. was a big problem with the Nick Diaz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that. May, you're right. I think I'll agree with that. That may have been the bigger taint on his career mm -hmm. was the, the steroids. Yeah, right? because now you've got to put into question labeled. everything before yeah. that. What what what's the story there? You know. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so should he retire? I, I can't say he should call it a career at this point because he's still he's not getting finished. And he's still no. competitive. And he almost, you know, look at the I uh, go back to the Bisping fight again, flying knee. Might yeah, should have been over. Like Bisping should not have been champion, no. illegitimate champion right ah. now. Brandon Mason asks, uh, do you also find John Anik's voice annoying, or is it just me? I have to agree with you. <laughs> He gets in that upper register sometimes. I'm like, please. And he's and all he's he's Johnny Ad Boy right now. Every mm -hmm. fucking round, whoa, he's gonna whoa. tell you, Halo Seven coming out on May 17th. Brought to you by Corn Nuts. Corn to the core. <laughs> yeah. Like really, just if we've already bought the pay per view, do I need to sit through more ads and more commercials? They got to make their money, Matt. Well, how about the shorts? <laughs> Isn't there a perfect opportunity to put maybe another sponsor on so you don't have to berate me with another ad? Could be. Just saying. Mike Smith Rivera asks, buy or sell the better pay-per-view main card, UFC 202 <sighs> or UFC 189? And we'll lay them out. UFC 202 had Connor versus Nate 2, Rumble killing Glover, Cerrone versus Story, and Mike Perry making his debut and KOing whoever. I can't see the name, can't pronounce it. Okay. UFC 189 had Connor versus Mendez. Lawler versus McDonald. Jeremy Stevens fadeaway flying knee to Bermudez. And Thomas Almeida 
Nasty flying knee on picket. I'm buying that. <coughs> Sell the other one. I gotta go with 202 because that Connor versus Nate 2 fight was one of my all time favorite fights. Was it really? Yeah, and, and I think that can carry my whole card. Just that fight. That was the fight where I said I'd watch these two guys fight forever. What about like, Lawler McDonald? That was on that second card. Yeah, it was a great fight. But I, I, I like the parody. That one seemed more of a beatdown. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well. That was just showing how tough Roy McDonald is. I'll yeah. fight you till my face falls apart. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> it is. But I, yeah. I, I like the parody of, of that uh, Diaz fight. And I also like yeah. the, the, the story of McGregor trying to figure out, okay, I, I got my ass kicked at 170 because I came in with yep. the wrong strategy. And now I got to come back. And he almost did it again, ran right. out of gas. Right, <laughs> <laughs> no, but then he found a little juice, yeah. you know. So I, I just love that back and forth. Like, oh my God, because this guy loses a second fight, he's fucked. He's done. The career is over. Yeah. Just the horseshoe, like you're saying. He found that fucking horseshoe, Frank That's Mir. Gonna knock out right up, yes. <laughs> Go left, probably. Yes. I feel like there was another question in here. Rory Rodrigo Machado. I gotta go back. I feel like I missed one. Uh. It's time! Yeah, I, I, I feel like we're there. All right, it's time! Pound sign, Nuts Rule. Pound sign, Matt Rape Train. Pound sign, Ingo Sugar Daddy. Would you rather travel the world and make your dreams come true or stay at your hometown for the rest of your life with your true love? Ooh, I got to go with my dreams come true. What do you mean my true love? Is this a person or a thing? What is it? I don't know. It's an open-ended question. Me and my dog. <laughs> you and your dog. True love. True love. I got to go with my dreams come true. It's, isn't it this? I don't know. It's a confusing question. Well, your dreams come true could be with your true love. There it you go. It could be see? wherever. Exactly. I see how it twists all the questions. I like it. Would you rather jump off a cliff with uh, bungee <laughs> or climb it with equipment? I'll jump off. I'm just thinking about my spine. <laughs> I don't like the idea of my spine going... And is then going, quick. Is that bad for your spine? Oh, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? Think how much you stretch, then think how much it snaps back. I didn't know that. I never thought oh. of that. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm climbing. Even though that's going to be a long and tedious process. Maybe a little more dangerous. Maybe. Thinking about the health of my back. Okay. I think that's more important. So when you know you're getting old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you rather live with your parents forever or get married to a complete stranger and not be able to get a divorce? Oh, God. It's a no-brainer. The stranger. Complete stranger, and I, I'm not fucking living with my parents. I could kill her. that person, though. <laughs> she could the disappear. Arsenic. Sorry, she's not. I don't know what she's happened. She's got a gluten problem. Oh, she wrote a note, though. Dose. She said she had to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Arsenic. What the fuck? I don't know. Neither uh, here nor there. Mm. Fuck, Mary kill the Marvel movie franchise edition. All right. I should have pulled it up on my phone. I forgot about this. So we got the Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of Scarlett Johansson. Mm -hmm. nice. Very nice. We got the Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen. I don't have the best picture. I know who that is. Smoking. Uh, yeah, she's good. We got Agent 13, Emily Van Camp. Cute, but it's uh, tough to see. I couldn't find a good yeah, picture. Yeah, there's... Uh -huh. Uh, we're gonna have to marry this one. Okay. We're marrying Emily. We're gonna kill her, and we're gonna, yeah, Scarlett Johansson. I'll give her the best two minutes of her life <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. She's one, hot two. though. Yeah. She's super hot. Yeah, I think I'm marrying Scarlett Johansson. Are you? Oh man, that I, that looks like so much fun. You don't want to run. Mm -hmm. And um, one time in the Scarlet Witch, even though I think the better play is probably to marry her. Because she's so loaded with all that fucking Olsen twin Ah, money, that's right. Like, Full House and their fucking line of bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's what's crazy, because when I watched that movie the first time, I had no idea she was one of those little Olsen twins that were on fucking Full House. Mm -hmm. Oof. Times are changing. Uh -huh. Knowledge, you got anything for this week? I don't know. Knowledge-wise. Knowledge. Finish my beer. You going to finish your beer? I'm trying to think uh, if there's any knowledge I have that would make sense. No, not really. Not really. <sighs> Watch the TV, getting fed up with the shows, as I was telling you. Mm -hmm. Watching this show, why can't the guys ever win? 
watching another show. It's like an hour long, could be 15 minutes. Yeah. American Gods. I'm out. Watch one. First episode I was kind of in. Out. Yeah, just like that. Huh? It's not like that fucking Westworld bullshit where I couldn't figure out what the hell's going on. No, we got Game of Thrones. When's that supposed to start July. soon? It's supposed to be April, motherfuckers. In July. What was the deal with that? Why? Because of the pushed? snow. I think they got, they need the winter to ah. be happening. Do some epic shit. Yeah. It's time for a good show. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. This is a good show, Matt. It always Where? is. Every week. Seven years plus. We Money! Do this, do this something. 65. Why stop? Let's just keep going. Forever? It'll be old Why and gray. Who gives a fuck? Something. It'll be fun to watch. Like, <laughs> okay. here's where we were in year one. We, if we don't have a, if we don't have a thousand episodes, this whole thing has been bullshit. <laughs> well, we have a way to go. All We're right. only at three thirty-nine. We can do. That. Okay. Thousand. We'll episodes. start doing two a week. Oh my god! I'm <laughs> okay. There'll be so much content, you'll shit your pants. Okay. Literally. Like in a park. Yes. Man. Right. Yeah. Wasn't a female. No female. Okay. That's it. That'll be Shut a better down. story. I know. That's that, what I was hoping for. <laughs> that's been this week's edition of Everyone Else. My name's Michael. We agree with. Thanks for playing.